まで行くそれでは about uh, it works right どちらまで行かれ。それでは。ありがとうございました。
とうございましたHere. You sure this is the place? Aw, are you scared? Don't be so wimpy. I thought you were a cop. That was a long time ago. I'm a driving instructor now. Ah, Dachi san's just allergic to fancy restaurants, that's all. He's a man of basic tastes. It's true. I only ever go to fast food joints. Ugh, that's so gross. Also true. Right on time. But everyone's already inside, waiting for you. Well, we weren't late, so you don't get an apology. And I wasn't expecting one. I just thought I'd let you know. Of course, now you're making them wait further. And who is them, by the way? You'll see. Go in, please. There's no need to worry, Kasuga-san. You have the Jungihan guarantee that no harm will come to you here. Hard to trust the guy who was pointing a gun at me just a few hours ago. Ah. But now we are outside the bounds of the Great Wall of Muscle. That changes things. Come in! That was Song Hui. Here we go. Yo, Kasuga-kun. How you doing? Xiao. And... <laughs> hey, what's up with the old guy? Watch it. That's Ryuhei Hoshino, the Seiryu clan chairman. What? But if he's here, then that would mean they're... Yeah. The Aegean Three. All the leaders gathered in the same spot. Kasuga, think you can tell us what the hell is going on here? Please, step inside. Hey, aren't these three supposed to be fighting a war? Supposed to be. Kind of a weird place for us to meet, Chairman Hoshino. Especially considering the three of you look more like you're ready to have a tea party than tear each other's throats out. Usually we meet only once a year, unless there's a need to share information face to face, as we must now. We always do what it takes to keep the Great Wall intact. Your men are killing each other out there. You don't want to stop them? Stop them? Two of my youngest men were gunned down without mercy. Liamang Turf's been raided right up to the perimeter of their base. There's no stopping any of it now. At this point, Whoever retreats first will have lost the war. I can't lay down my spear until that happens. That's pretty much the same deal for me. So then why are you two here? Gonna decide the war over a game of cards? 
<laughs> Not the worst idea. What the fuck? People are dying! And meanwhile, you three are just hanging out playing nice? Think your men would approve? Do any of you even care what your own people think? Kasuga, there's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. Do you know right now Captain Takabe is Xiao's prisoner? <laughs> prisoner? We're treating him more like an uninvited guest. Honestly, I'd let him go if I had one good reason to. I just don't, that's all. So you're going to sit here and do nothing? Just let the chips fall where they may? That's how it needs to be. A bunch more pointless deaths is how it needs to be? They're not pointless. Our men's willingness to fight is the entire reason we're able to serve as checks on each other. As long as the triangle remains balanced, it can hold firm against outside pressure. It's much like how Japan established separation of powers after the end of its dictatorship. It's not perfect, but it's the best solution we have. Do you see the logic there? Oh boy, a post-war history lesson. What? That's what you're comparing it to, right? Yes. Because it's relevant. The post-war period is when the town's lines of power were drawn. Huh? The black market was born from the ashes of the war. It laid the foundation for modern-day Jincho. Back then, the Seiryu clan was thriving. But in Chinatown, two rival Chinese gangs were competing for dominance. The winner of that fight prospers in Chinatown to this day. The gang that lost became the Yokohama Liuman. They were driven out of Chinatown and into Ijincho. But the Seryu clan wasn't about to take that kind of invasion lying down. For a time, the gutters practically ran with Liuman and Seryu blood. Man, you're gonna lecture until the bell rings, Professor? You want to understand what's going on? Then you need the history, you smartass. If you want to understand the fake money, that is. The Seiryu clan knows about that? Yes. All the fake money printed by the Komi Jewel goes through me. But doesn't that mean the Seiryu clan is the real puppet master behind all this? How do you figure that? Mabuchi started forging Chinese Yuan, sure. But only because of the counterfeit yen. I think I'm starting to figure all this out. The Liu Mang brings in the paper. The Komi Jewel prints the bills. But then, the Seiryu clan keeps all the profit? Wait, are you all in this together? Kasuga goon, calm down, you're jumping to conclusions. Because I'm pissed off right now! First I'm kidnapped, accused of being a Seiryu Yakuza, then blamed for being the spark that ignites a war, nearly killed over Namba's thing. Now I'm here with the Eijing Three, who, by the way, don't even give a shit about the war! Tell me, why should I calm down? He's got a point. And you, with your damn Seiryu clan, you're the one getting the most out of this! No, because we're not the final destination of the fake Yen. That will be Yutaka Ogikubo's pocket. Yutaka Ogikubo? I saw his name in an article. He's some big shot in the Citizens' Liberal Party. If all three of you are working together to support him politically, why? Huh. Suddenly my history lesson seems relevant, doesn't it? <sighs> Fine. Get on with it. Ogikubo is the man who proposed making fake money in Ijincho. This was 60 years ago. He pitched the idea to the first Seryu chairman and first Liumang boss. A politician suggested committing federal crime to a bunch of gangsters? For real? At the time, Ogikubo was only a member of the city council. But he saw the fights breaking out between the long-established Seiryu clan and the newly arrived Liuman. He understood it was, in essence, a turf war. Knowing that, he looked for solutions to stop the bloodshed. Solutions that would save lives. And eventually, he managed to find an answer. Fake money, of all things. Industry. Which in this case is, yes, fake money. Okikubo split the rolls up evenly. 
That way, both organizations would have a common goal. The Liumang would import special paper, the Seryu clan would print and transport the money. How did Ogi Kubo know the counterfeiting process? He didn't at first. But since he had faith in his plan, and a desire for peace, he used every single connection he had to collect the raw materials, plus the recipe. Counterfeiting wasn't that difficult back then. Currency didn't have all the security features it has now. It's only gotten harder over the years. But anyway, after the first batch was printed, Agikubo used it to bribe the cops. The cops? Not the Seiryu clan or the Liumong? There would have been no point in paying off those two. That conflict goes deeper. Okikubo understood that. Okay, but why give it to the police? They wanted to control them, of course. And in the blink of an eye, they became his loyal servants. That ought to surprise no one, given how corruptible law enforcement tends to be. Anyway, Okikubo had his new minions in uniform crack down on one certain region of Ijincho. Well, that doesn't sound like such a bad thing. Yeah, he was making the city safer, right? Now, that was just a side effect of what he really wanted. To squash every attempt by the Seiryu to drive out the Liuman. All police resources were dedicated to that one goal. It created a tiny pocket of Ijincho that was essentially violence-free. I bet that worked out great for the Leo Mung. Oh, and you're the sharp one, I take it. Yes. That zone became the Liu Mung's home. So there it was. A place controlled by a criminal organization, but with low crime. The first Grey Zone. And the Seiryu clan just accepted that. Hmm? Why would they give up their territory and all its income streams like that? Because they were getting continuous payouts from the counterfeiting operation. And that wasn't the only thing. Anytime one of us did something that normally would have landed us in hot water, Okikubo would contain it. He kept it off police reports. That kept us from losing men to the law. So there were plenty of benefits for us. All while we kept our honor. This Okikubo's a pretty shrewd guy. Nah. He just used some old tricks every politician knows. Oh. Well, perhaps. But do you understand now how we benefit from him? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And my people reap those benefits also. In the 80s, the Komi Joel was saved by the Ijincho Grey Zone. How? Our parent organization was the Jingon Mafia, which formed decades ago in Korea. Even only a few years ago, he was a body double for their leader. But every time the Jingon Mafia got crushed, some of its people would drift to Ijincho. My mother was one of those. I was young when she brought me here. Ijincho was a breath of fresh air after living so long under their ridiculous code. More and more people heard about the relief we found here. So more came. But then our safety was threatened by something else. As our numbers grew, so did our clashes with the Yokohama Liomong. You started fighting them? Not outright. Ogikubo stepped in. Right before a real war erupted, he brought us a proposal. That we take over the Seiryu's counterfeiting business. It was an offer of steady income and safe territory. How could we refuse? In return, we would perform the surveillance necessary to contain the secret. That's how we started to build a system that now monitors every inch of Ijincho. It became our way to contribute to the smooth running of Ijincho, alongside the Seiryu and Liomang. So that's the origin story behind the Ijin 3. Ever since, we've all supported Ogikubo. And he's supported us in kind. He used the huge streams of money from us to secure his seat at the helm of the Citizens' Liberal Party. Now... No one in the cabinet can speak against him. After masterminding a way to bring peace to the city, he moved up in the world. Well, there are worse ways to climb the ladder, but I can't condone it. It's still a cover-up. <laughs> really? So you would say even perfect results don't matter if the methods are flawed. What about the police themselves? 
What about their alliance with all the Yakuza which grew from the scorched earth of post-war Japan? Light and dark joined hands to rebuild, and that's how we got where we are today. You can't deny the ends justify the means. Ah, uh, well... What does it even matter what happened? Who cares about that stuff right now? It's all in Eugene Show's past. What we gotta think about is its future. So why'd you call us here? What do you want? <laughs> Your friend Nambakun, during his search for his brother, spied on us and invaded our privacy. I assume he began with the fake bills because that was his brother's subject of investigation. But he was reckless, digging through Komi Jewel affairs like a rabbit raccoon. Right from the start, he's refused to show any respect to the Eugene Three. Now he's seen the counterfeiting for himself, and we have no idea where he is. We must ensure his permanent silence. Why are you telling us this? Are you looking to make a deal for his life or something? A deal? Kasuga, under most circumstances, all your lives would be forfeit. <laughs> but... I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. What? Huh? You do? Out of respect for this person, I will look the other way. But who the hell was it? If you really want to know, you'll have to bring Namba to me. Personally. We can't do that to Nanchan. Sure is tempting. Kasuga, but I'll pass. Nothing I need to know so bad that I'd sell out a friend. So we done here? You do realize, if word gets out about the counterfeiting, the Great Wall will crumble. And that means the end of the Grey Zone. Yeah, that would suck. For you. Look, the Great Wall keeps the peace with less than honorable means, sure. But it provides a safe haven for desperate souls with nowhere left to turn. Yeah, man, I get all that. Well, here's what you don't get, you moron. When we say no one gets in, that includes the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. So see, if we're talking about people who owe their lives to the Grey Zone, you're one of them, Kasuga-kun. Uh, what? After you were shot, the only reason the Omi didn't finish you off is because you were inside the zone. What are you trying to say? That I owe something to the city? Go ahead and act like you're above it all. But you've benefited from our operation as much as any of us. Fine. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna sell out a friend. Before you insist on that, I have something important to say. Yeah, what? We already have assassins hunting Namba. What the hell? Whose assassins? Mine. Somebody had to step up. That's stepping up in your book? Hunting an innocent man? Unlike you, Kasuga. I don't turn down attractive offers, but don't worry. I told my guys to make it painless. But, uh, my men have gotten a little rough lately. You son of a bitch. Call him off! No can do. I think one death for the sake of the whole city is worth the price. What do you say to our offer now? If you refuse, Namba will die. But aren't you gonna kill him all the same if we bring him to you? Instead of worrying about that, worry about getting to him first. Your clock's ticking. Hey, we don't even know where to look. I may have an idea. Well, there you go. So, Kasuga, given all this... What will you do? I mean, guess I'm rescuing Namba from your stupid assassins. Go. Hmm? 
Yes. I see. Hey, yeah. Yo. Sup? いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。Yo, Sachan. Huh? Uh, Sachan. Uh, wait. You're not Sachan. It's nice to see you again, Kasuga-san. We met at Sunlight Castle, isn't that right? Wait. Are you Nanoha-san? But why are you here? Who told you to meet me? Ichiban? Look closer, it's me, Saiko! Oh, so it is you, Sachan. 
If you can't see through it, then my performance must be good. I'm sure Katsuragawa will think I'm Nanoha too. Yeah, for sure he will. Even though, <clears throat> actually, I was just pretending... Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Anyway, I figured out where if Nanoha's gonna pay him a surprise visit and... You're still coming with me, right? He's at his office right now. He's in his bodyguard and his employees. Scum collects around other scum. Man. She might just be the kind of girl who's into it. You probably understand by now how bad I feel. Hey, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe she's just the kind of girl who's into bad boys. Either way, let's go fix this. Wait, I knew something was up with you. What's gotten into you? you I sure as hell do. Okay. And that means you have no reason to be with me, right? Oh, come on, babe. Don't be stupid. Well, just give me what you owe me. What? I, I can't right now. I Sweetie, you know how hard I've worked for this. I just need a little more. Hey, man, I gotta ask. How much? Hey, man, I gotta ask. How about you fuck right off? If she lent you two million on top of everything else, how much? You need to crawl back down out of my ass, dude. You don't know, do you? Yeah, you want to borrow even more. I'm lucky, because Nanaha and I are in love. Money don't matter. It's 1.3 million yen. That's the amount of money Katsuragawa- Hey, Yamashita. Uh, uh. Nah, thanks for speaking up, Yamashita. Good man. Who are you anyway? Maybe you're trying to take my- That's none of your concern. Give me back my money. Nanoha, I love you. Come on. Nanoha really loved you that much. We're perfect for each other. Honey, you're a sweet angel, and I'm... Oh, so that's the excuse. He's one of the bastards of... Yamashita, what are you waiting for? No. Haven't... What? Sir, step back and take a look. You need to let not... She's been working herself to the bone to support her father. She needs... What the hell? I'm doing what's right, boss. You can't just keep... I can't just sit by and watch this happen to... Yo, why don't you think about who you're talking to? So unless you want to go back to... <laughs> Every time someone calls you out or wants to leave- Alright, I'm just fucking- All of you! Stop standing around with your dicks in your hands and throw- <laughs> Can't see I didn't see this coming. Well, no kidding. You know, I've been looking for an excuse to- Maybe it's even simpler than that. Yeah. Boy, you do, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll both be real- Right. Let's go! Ooh. This out! Pull it together, right, gentlemen! Ass kicking time! I'm not backing down. Come on now! Come on, where's all that fighting spirit? <sighs> Give back all the money you borrowed from Nanoha, right? If I see you around town again, I'll kick your ass even- Okay, okay. <laughs> all right. You asshole. Don't you ever take no! advantage of a- Wait, are you for real? This is Nanoha's sister? She has a twin? Damn. Sorry to disappoint you, Yamashita-kun. I know you probably worked up all that- Sorry, Yamashita- No, that's all right. I mean, running him off still makes life- So, you're gonna keep acting like you never knew- Yes, and this whole Katsuragawa incident- Okay. But she's definitely going to note it, and it happened right after she got a phone call from her estranged sister, telling her to- What are you saying? You don't think she'll figure out her sis had some- <laughs> I mean, it'll almost be too obvious- Whoa. 
No. That's fine, honestly. But what if Nanoha gets pissed at you again? Her happiness is my top priority. It still kind of sucks if she ends up hating. She would have ended up broke if she stayed with that douchebag. I'm just grateful I can still talk to her on the phone. Still? Huh. I could always tell Nana. Like what? I'll tell her Katsuragawa's firm took a nosedive and he bailed to escape all his debt. That way she can get her money without knowing. Nice the plan. <laughs> I like how it can. Oh, you're right. Guess that's no good. After all, I only said what was true. I kept telling myself that I would stand up for her if she. When I saw her. Well, when I saw John. You hearing this? Hey, Yamashita kun. Yeah. Let's say you're at a restaurant or a store. How exactly. I, I just try to be as polite as possible. Okay. Well, you pass. <laughs> Setting the bar for being. I said for now, didn't I? Huh? Don't worry. I'm still gonna watch over not. So if Yamashita kun turns, then I'll just have to step in. I get that. <laughs> I'm sure Nano will eventually re. Thanks so much, Ichiban. That's twice now you've helped. I really am grateful, you know. What's that? Yo.
Hey, do you know what time it is? Uh, hello to you too. Kume-san, right? Sorry to barge in like this, but I wanted to see if our buddy was here. You... How did you know? Yo, Ichiban. Hey, I knew you'd find a decent place to hide. Hey man, we gotta hurry. The Ejing Three sent Liu Meng assassins after you. Liu Meng? Not Gomiju? Hmm. Is it just you three? No backup? Just us, sorry to say. I see. And you have business with Nambasan? Yeah. And who are you? I haven't seen you around. <laughs> and here I thought people were watching more TV these days. Oh. I know you. You're the director of Bleach Japan. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on TV. My name is Ogasawara. I'm here lending my support to our Yokohama branch. The Grey Zone in Ijincho is one of the worst in the country. The police have just given up on it. But still, I never expected to find this. Counterfeiting legal currency? <laughs> Atrocious. So Namba spilled the beans, huh? Let's not mess around. You guys need to get out of here, now. We'll even go with you if it'll help you escape. That includes you, Namba. Kasuga, was this your plan all along? <laughs> Why exactly do I need to turn and run? It's not just the Komichu who are involved. The heads of the Seiryu clan and Yokohama Liumang are in on it. They sent the assassins after Namba because he knows their secret. You're screwed if you're here too, civilian or not. Ogasawara-san! I think this guy's bluffing with all the assassin talk. He's just trying to ruffle some feathers. No need to panic. No. I think he's telling the truth. What? To be honest, I thought you might be assassins yourselves. But not once you said it was just you three. That's not Great Wall of Muscle Strength. Um... I don't get it. Aren't assassins supposed to be in small groups? Oh, dear, dear Kume-kun. You have so much to learn about these criminals. But ignorance often breeds courage, and that's what I needed in the Ijincho arm of Bleach Japan. That's... Uh... Ogasawara-san. What are you getting at? No kidding. You sure you're a civilian? <laughs> of course I am. I just know more about the criminal underworld than your average dipshit. What is with this guy? I think it's about time you come out. Lao Ma. Lao Ma? Mabuchi, why are you here? I'll handle this, Director. Thank you. My service is customer satisfaction guaranteed. Then we'll take our leave. Let's go. Hey! Namba! Wait! I already told them all about the counterfeit bills. I... just want to find my brother. Whether he's alive... or otherwise. Um, Ogasawara-san, what about me? Mabuchi... <laughs> Give this simpering piece of human garbage a fitting end. Didn't think this is where I'd finally see your mug. No, of course not. My own boss doesn't know I'm here. That said, I did want to meet you. I haven't been able to give you a message from Nonomiya! <laughs> Slice them up however you want. I got this. I'll show you!
On a statue of Guan Yu, it's a uh, legendary. So Mabuchi puts himself on a level with. If he does, he's in for a rude awake. I'm up. You're in it now. Let's see. Let's go. <gasps> Take your got... best shot. Right. Oh, yeah? Okay. I can hear you when I put you first. We're in this together, guys. Who do I go? Huh? Let's get it done. Who do I call? Get a life. Oh, a friend! Ah! I summon you! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Is this some sort of joke? You're gonna be in a world of purpose. 
I think he's in a bad mood. That's your table, Grito. No problem. Gotta do something about this. Okay, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. You serious right now? <laughs> yeah. oh, you're in it now. I'm ready now. Right. Get a lie. I have secret too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Don't get caught. You sure you can beat me? Try this on your side. Like, how can I go away? No, I got this. Hey! Huh? Who do I okay. call? Where do you want to take your best shot? You're gonna get stomped. You sure you want to get hurt? Get alive. Come on now! I'll show you what I'm gonna do! You're in it now! You sure you can beat me? I got it! You're gonna be in a world! I'll show you! Here goes! Let's go! Pain in the ass! Take your best shot! Damn it. I have secrets too! Uh. 
No problem. I got it. Hmm? I'll show you. Here goes. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> right. You're in it now. Try this on to side. Not scared of the shit. Here I am. You sure you can beat me? Uh. Good. You can still talk. Hell? Are you enjoying this, you creep? Are you the one who killed our boss? I am. And I did. I slaughtered him. And hung him like a pig on a hook. Well, to start a fight with the Seiryu clan? <laughs> As they say... I was just following orders. Who told you to pull this kind of shit? The man you just allowed to escape. The director of Bleach Japan. Ogasawara. He's the one who ordered you to kill Nonomiya? Why would he do that? <laughs> because what he's after is Ichincho itself. What's he on about? <laughs> He wants to expose where Yutaka Ogikubo gets all his money. <sighs> to do that, he had to put just a tiny crack in the Great Wall. <laughs> a crack? You mean Nonomiya's death? I don't get it. Ogasawara ordered a hit so he could get rid of the Grey Zone? 
<laughs> He's a Bleach Japan guy? I thought they were a bunch of goody two-shoes. My question is, why would you do their bidding, Mabuchi? Why do something that would turn the e Gene 3 against you? <laughs> Ogasawara has bigger, badder friends than the e Gene fleas. What do you mean? <sighs> the Great Wall. The e Gene 3. That's all over. The invasion starts tomorrow. Invasion? My Bleach Japan? No. <laughs> You still don't get it? Come on, Kasuga. What? The backers of Bleach Japan are the Omi Alliance in Kamurocho. Are you shitting me? I'm going to be Jincho's version of Masumi Arakawa. I'll sell this whole town to the Omi. and get rewarded handsomely for it. <laughs> They'll probably make me an officer. It's what I- <laughs> Don't ever compare yourself to Arakawa-san again. <laughs> uh. 
Guys, if the Omi Alliance is coming here... Yeah, about that. Let's go get that bastard Ogasawara to give us the lowdown. Well, Yi and Namba went into that back room over there. Yeah, I saw. Let's go find him. Ogasawara's gone. He went out an exit further back. Namba? Bleach Japan is gonna blow the lid off the counterfeiting scheme, which'll crush the Gomi Jewel. Maybe, just maybe, they'll find my brother too. Nanchan. If only I could have done it myself. No one's ever meant more to me than my brother. Look at the life I've endured to try to find him. Did you see which way Yogasawara went? You really should steer clear of this mess, Ichiban. I just want to have some words. Stay out of it. Just stay out of it, man! Hey, you need to just focus on yourself right now. You got assassins after you. Just find somewhere to hide. At least until tomorrow. Mabuchi told us the Omi Alliance is coming tomorrow. They're invading. It'll be chaos. That's your chance to slip away, you get me? Can you do that? I didn't ask for your advice. Look, Nanchan. As much as this sucks for you, can you please think about the rest of us, too? Shut up! Think about what Mabuchi and Ogasawara did. They murdered Nonomiya out of pure greed. I know. But I need their help to find my brother. <sighs> really? You're just leaving? Wanna stop me? Go for it. Hell, attack me from behind. I don't care. You know we'd never pull that kind of shit. Don't be stupid, man. We're still buds. Ugh, don't say that shit. <clears throat> Ichiban. Hey, I know how this crap feels, but we don't have time for it. Let's focus on the task at hand. Searching this Bleach Japan office. I think it's back there, and this is our chance. No one's around. Yeah, you're right. What's up? Uh, this picture. What about it? The guy shaking hands with Ogasawara. I know him. Yeah, that's Ryo Aoki, the governor. That's back when he was younger, and considering the backdrop there, probably around the time he and Ogasawara started Bleach Japan together. Aoki had to leave his post in order to run for governor, though. He's governor? He's supposed to be dead. Huh? In Kamrocho. Someone told me he died. I thought it was true. Well, I don't follow. You know Ryo Aoki? Not Aoki. Mm -hmm. I know him as... Masato Arakawa. Sir. During next week's budget deliberations, the opposition party is going to fight you tooth and nail. Those fossils pushing for highway funding. It sounds like they're strongly against the infrastructure cuts. I imagine it's going to be a long fight. But you do have an appearance scheduled for that evening. Should I cancel it, or maybe try to reschedule? I have an appearance? Oh, yeah. Isn't this the one for that newspaper? They invited a bunch of kids to that, I thought. Yes, sir. Let's not cancel it, then. Wouldn't it look bad? 
I'm sure those parents have spared no expense making sure their children look presentable for an occasion like this, right? I'm sure, but... It'll be fine. I'm gonna run circles around those windbags and we'll have deliberations wrapped up in no time. We can't disappoint the children, can we? Understood, sir. We'll hold the appearance as scheduled. Mm. You know what? Why don't you call it a night? Good night, then. It's Ogasawara. Good news, I hope. I finally found it. The party chair's secret weapon. Turns out it was on the other side of the Great Wall of Muscle this whole time. Hmm. <laughs> Go figure. If you have any of our visitors from Kansai you can spare, I could use the extra hands. <laughs> That's fine. We're already more than well staffed in Tokyo. I'm willing to send you all the manpower you'll need. Let's see... this probably has some juicy details. Ryu Aoki, current governor of Tokyo, age 42. That's even the same age as the young master. Don't freak out, maybe it's all a coincidence. Hmm. Says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. Then he suddenly took off for America. He took political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. Then they came back to Japan. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. Now, he was on magazine covers, on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator, eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide, exactly. But now his approval rating is 80%. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. I don't see anything like that. But I still think you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't write off what Kasuga's saying, though. There's a lot of stuff that make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Y yeah Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. I mean, they probably just fled the city out of panic. They knew they were on the verge of getting busted. The 3K plan enacted a bunch of new anti-Yakuza laws. The cops had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So yeah, I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. Huh? 
You think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. Hey, it would also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. He was more loyal to his son than he was to the Tojo clan. Most men would be. Most men, yes, but not Arakawa-san. Well, if you say so, but you have to admit, my theory makes sense. Arakawa is human. And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? Parents, even Yakuza parents, will do anything for their kids. <sighs> One thing I don't get, how did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. Well, maybe he bought a family register. You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah. Doctor up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. I mean, you can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. Well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but if you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible, especially if you've got money or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background, so he could be governor. The public would never accept a politician with Yakuza roots. Ichiban, who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. Hold on! Hold the hell on! What? What is it? The young master couldn't walk. He used a wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. No, the doctor said he was wheelchair-bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that uh, aren't available here. Hey, who's the guy who looks like there's a stick up his ass? That's the police commissioner, Orinouchi. Oh, your eternal rival. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. What? Sometime before I went to prison. Uh, but when was it? Oh, right! I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Yeah, Horino Uchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. <laughs> Bet that made for a uh, awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. I wonder what all went down. Damn, Kamro's just looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing ass mess. Well, uh, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat. But guys, remember what Mabuchi said? The Omi Alliance is going to invade. You can sleep after hearing that? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. Good point. Let's head back and hit the hay. We don't even need to head back. Huh? Hey, barkeep. Remember when I asked you about that room on the second floor? Oh yeah, I cleaned it up for you. It's all yours. 
<laughs> nice. Thanks. What room? There's some vacant space on the second floor. Right, they're using it for storage right now, but I asked if we could use it as a hideout. I mean, your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was, uh, getting kind of cramped. Here we'll have more room. Plus, at night, we can drink down here and then just stumble up to bed. How's that for convenience? Uh, yeah, it is great, but... You sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah. Whatever. Room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides, I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. And well, I'm not so desperate that I can't offer a shabby old room to a hero and his party. Wow, dude. Thanks! We'll keep the room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink. <laughs> hey, if you don't like my jokes, you can forget about using the rum. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Hey. Okay.
Excuse me. You wouldn't be... Eh? I mean, yeah. Oh, I should introduce myself. My name's... I knew I'd get to see you. Hey, um... Kaede-chan? We did meet once. I was assaulted on the streets of Kamurocho. Kamurocho. Uh, well, I, I guess it's not that... Uh... Oh, please. Cute is... Anyway, I... I didn't get the chance to think... Well, it's nice that you still remember me. But you know... Uh, that's the thing. I re That's probably why I'm I had really hoped we would catch... Eventually, I realized you had packed... Uh. But I decided I would find you some... You're welcome. Well, I'm no longer confined to a hospital, so I guess I'm trying... And the first thing on it was fine... Oh, yeah? So even though this girl only met me once, and here I was thinking no one gave a damn about me... All right! Now let's go out to... You mean it? Oh, the way we're talking about it makes it seem like I just... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, I'm... If you have things... Yeah, I'm good to go. Okay, then... The only thing is... What would make her happy? An arcade. Nothing cheers you up like a good game. Oh, I'd love that. I've actually never been. No way. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah.
Take it from me, you're better off finding it. You okay, Kaede chan You protect me even after all these years. Right. <laughs> it's getting pretty dark out. Hey, Kasuka san, huh? there's one more place I'd like to go. to see the town it is a sight to see you know it's crazy yeah tell me about it you know i would wait well at first i only heard your voice give me back my change or meat you're still eating <laughs> yeah that at first i was in instead of lying around in bed whenever you were in short sleeves i knew really damn if i know what you wore with a man i felt huh? You serious? Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I hope that's not. Hey, live long. And... Huh? Hey, no loitering, you drunk. Mm -hmm. Hey, who are you back? Oh, uh, sorry. Huh? <laughs> you wasted. Bi uh, no, officer. No need for that. Yeah? Well, I suggest you get on home. Don't be. Okay. Again. Yeah. 